Hey, in this video tutorial, we will learn about how to blink an LED or a set of LEDs with the help of HMEGA 328 microcontroller. And all we will do this inside the Proteus platform. So, first of all, you need to go to the parts and click this P, and then you need to write HMEGA 328. So it is AVR based controller at Mega328 and it is also a part of a very famous controller that is already known in the form of like uh, 8 Mega1, 8 Mega328 and 8 Mega128 I think and press OK. OK now we have selected the 8 Mega328 and it has port number C As you can see that here C0, C1, C2, C3 and all this is port number C that is from 23 to 29 and from 12 to 8 that is from PB0 to BB7 it is port B and it is port D and it is port D7 so there are around 3 ports inside the Atmega 3 to 8 so we also need to connect some LEDs like uh, red active and it will give us animated LED that is the these are the animated one so rotate clockwise okay we will uh, rotate it anti-clockwise and then we will copy it copy to clipboard and then we will paste it from the clipboard and again we will do it in this way we will Okay, now we will attach directly with the LEDs the port number E. So we are just doing it. Okay, now we are attaching the cathodes with each other so that we can give ground on these all these shorted cathodes. So click on this power part and take ground. Okay. Now we have connected the LEDs with that of the port number B. Now we will go to Atwell Studio. And here we have written, written our code. 16 megahertz is our clock speed. And we have selected port P. Port B is the output. And 0xFF is just turning all the LEDs on. And 0x00 just turning all the LEDs off. And delay my millisecond 500. It's actually a delay of half second. We will go to build and click on build solution and it is written build succeeded one succeeded then we will double click on it and we will go to the documents in HTML studio and 7.0 and GCC application one and then GC application one and then to debug and here we have our hex file so we will press ok and we will run it now we can see that all the LEDs, the red LEDs are turned on. 
but you know that this simulation is actually not running purely in the real time so you can see that although we have selected the, the, the delay of 500 millisecond but here it is equal to around 3 to 4 second so you can reduce the time depends upon speed of your CPU so that you can adjust it so hopefully you got the concept the hex file is given in the description you can download it from the link thanks for watching